question number one. So question number one wants to solve the absolute value equation below, all right? So whenever you're doing an absolute value equation, guys, all right, the first thing you need to do is that you make sure that your absolute value is isolated. So this absolute value needs to be all alone, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is try to get rid of this negative 2 that's on the outside of the absolute value. So to get rid of a multiplying by negative 2, we're going to divide by negative 2 on both sides of our equations, okay? So these negative 2s cancel. Negative 20 divided by negative 2 is positive 10. Is equal to the absolute value of x minus 4 absolute value. Okay? So now we're going to apply the absolute value. So the absolute value means that this number could be either a positive or a negative. Okay? So again, it could be a positive or a negative. Okay? So we're saying that x minus 4 could be equal to a positive 10 or x minus 4 could be equal to a negative 10. All right? So we're going to find the value of x by adding 4 to both sides. This gets canceled, and one of our x values is 10 plus 4 is 14. Okay? So to get the next x value, we would again add 4, add 4. These get canceled. And x will be equal to negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. Okay? So my two x values will be positive 14 and negative 6. Okay? Those are my solutions. Okay? Everything else is not a solution. So again, everything else is not a solution.